Hello, my name is Cal Molinay from Richmond, Virginia, and I'm an anarchist. And today I'm here at the Compass once more on the 5th of November to spread the message of freedom, real freedom, not this illusion of freedom you think you can get when you put in your uh, voting gun in that ballot box. And uh, for those who are not voting today, who are refraining from forcing your preferences onto everyone into a geographic region here, um, thank you. Thank you for having the honesty, thank you for having the integrity uh, to master and consistency with your beliefs that it's wrong and immoral and evil to violently enforce any idea into other human being. And that includes politics, that includes government, that includes participating in that evil and legitimizing that evil. And uh, so today on the 5th of November here, I'm going to try to see if I could um, open curse the discussion. And, and that's so much that, you know, don't get angry at those who did vote. You know, for the most part, they don't know. For the most part, a lot of people don't know about this philosophy and know about the, uh, the ways that they're tricked into being a, an evil participant into that system. So uh, with that, hope you enjoy this content. See you guys at the Victory Party. Take good care. So that's okay. the hidden violence behind this matrix, behind government. That this organization only knows how to solve problems the one way, a singular way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems, versus the, the plurality of nonviolent solutions that you and I already I didn't think of it that way. Right? Really good analysis of it. Yeah, uh, so that's like a freshly objective viewpoint of what it is breaking it all down. Yeah. Right? If you become complicit to that uh, organization, Right? Uh, instead of turning to our community, right? we don't use violence in our day-to-day -day lives to solve problems. We don't vote and to forcing our preferences onto each other. Uh, but only the government does that. That's the only way government knows how to solve problems. They don't allow a freedom to associate or disassociate. They don't allow the freedom to say, well, right, this complex has their own rules. It's 420 friendly and one across the street that's not. <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah. So we can still have rules, but these are areas that government has monopolized. Right? So this, what government is then even further objectively, They've monopolized the services we want, right? I want security, I want roads, I want courts, I want judges, but they've monopolized us, right? You don't have the freedom to cancel, unsubscribe, right? Uh, you don't even have the freedom to compete against those monopolized services to say, I could provide a better service, the better product that's not gonna be harmful and abusive to you, the consumer. I could provide a better, fair and impalist judgmentship where you don't have to stand in court when I arrive. I won't hold you in contempt because of what you're wearing, right? Okay. So that's, that's really it. Um, so what were your thoughts on that? That's really good. Like yeah. I, I never like saw it from that viewpoint. Like yeah. that's sort of eye-opening too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Alright, so, so this this principle though that you and I already share against using violence to solve problems, that's called the non-aggression principle, right? Okay. So you have to universalize that principle uh, all over the world, like you do with uh, theories of gravity or thermodynamics. You universalize these principles, like nature's a law. So then it doesn't matter who you are. Right? What title you hold, what yeah. color costume you wear, or piece of paper or badge, it's wrong and immoral for anyone to initiate that violence. Right? Yeah. So that's really it. That's pretty much what I'm here uh, to talk about. Well, as part of a uh, non-political organization, I can try to turn to our community and try to create a real foundation for freedom okay. and not their government. So this is on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, so am I going to see me on that? Yeah, yeah. All My right, name is cool. Cal. Cal? That's me. I'm Ricky. Yes. Ricky, pleasure. Well, I got pamphlets if you like. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take one. Here you go, man. Right, thank you. Absolutely, absolutely. All right. I'll see you later, man. Absolutely. Take good care. You too. Have a good one. All right. So that's the, well, that's the hidden values behind government. Oh government. no, because you know, here's the thing about voting. No, I'm, I'm just saying voting time moral because like you get to if if the government does all of that and like does all those bad things because like here's the thing we've kind of agreed that they can kind of do those bad things. That's kind of part of the compromise of the whole government idea. Like. Yeah, we do give up some of our freedoms and you know it sucks and sometimes the government takes too much and that's one of the things that we do by voting is say, yo, we will not elect you again if you keep fucking up and like infringing on these freedoms. I mean the whole thing about government, like you're not gonna like get all of your freedoms, but you say, yo, I want like respected I want like well, certain freedoms right. respected and that's the thing. Like if government doesn't respect those things then you just vote them out and that's but who are they to give you or take away your freedoms? Who are no, these you strangers? Get, no, you give them. That's the whole thing. You give them the freedom. You they give shouldn't them. have that freedom over your life. Yes, but, they do. But you should. they shouldn't have that freedom over your life, right? We kind of give it to them. It's, it's kind of like a made-up thing. but it's like, It is it's a made-up thing. See, you it's, never it's, gave consent. You no, never see, gave agreement. Thing. You make up a lot of shit. You just make up a lot of shit, like, naturally, like... Like, the whole idea of, like, as human beings, we make up a lot of stuff, make up stuff matters. And sometimes, if you make it up, it kind of does matter. And right. government is one of those things that, you know, it, it may not actually be real, but it, like, it, we, we treat it as it's real, and right, it, does right, have, right, right. it does have an effect on the world. That's, it does, yeah, yeah negatively. But then, first, not, so, so yeah, you're, you're going to these areas like, though, that I do want. What government has objectively are the services I want, but they've monopolized the services. Yeah. Government has monopolized law, which is why they, they don't allow a polysector legal system. They monopolize courts, judges, roads, court, uh, 
uh, currency, first class mail. Yeah. You don't have the freedom to cancel and subscribe. You don't have the freedom to compete against this monopolized service and say, you know what, I can provide a better service that's not going to be harmful and abusive to you, the consumer. Oh, no, I'm not saying they're not dicks. Like, men, they're dicks. Right. Like, they'll, 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 they're dicks, but they're, um, I mean, it, like, fundamentally, they're not But that's that what bad. I mean. That, that's how they're, they're immoral, though, because they don't allow you to have the freedom. They're, you're forced to pay for whether vote you want it or not. That's the whole thing. You, you vote can't let you know that. It's, it's hard, but people like, have been trying for over thing. 200 years now. I don't want to die a slave. But even no, if but that's do, the whole thing. That's our revolution. That's the whole thing. People are trying to turn to years so you don't have to have the whole revolution. But yo, I actually got to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just yeah, yeah. want to do this, guys. I got to go vote, vote and me, I'm uh, voting. That's so funny. Uh, so voting then objectively means that you're going to elect someone to violently force their preferences onto everyone Sarah in the McCall geographic is region. Kuchinelli is awful. E evil I, is still evil. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> gotcha. I right, take it easy. Oh.